This is just perfect. Awesome. I can't believe I have to find somewhere else to sleep on this mess of a camping trip. I don't even like the woods. Or camping. I barely wanted to be here, and if someone told me ahead of time that I have to share a tent with him, I definitely wouldn't have come. I cannot believe my so-called friends. Wouldn't it be so fun to make decisions behind her back, make sure she's bunking with the one person that can't stand her, and who she's been so... <clears throat> Ouch! And now I'm going to end up tumbling to my demise trying to find a tent I don't even want to be in. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm fine. I was just looking for you, actually. Yes, really. Is it really so... Never mind. Look, can you let me in? Yes, into your tent. Yeah, I was supposed to share with her, but she forgot to tell me she'd made other plans. And now it seems the only tent with share space is yours. Yeah, I know it sucks. I just... Look, can you move? It's cold, and I tripped twice, my ankle hurts, and this bag is heavy. And it's going to start raining again any minute. Y yeah, I definitely do know why this isn't ideal. And why you maybe don't believe me. But I promise this is my last resort. And yours too, if you want any hope of waking up without hypothermia. Now, are you going to move, or what? I'll play nice, I just... I'd really appreciate somewhere warm and dry to sleep tonight. What do you mean, why should you? Do you want me to, like, bribe you or something? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Fine. Um, okay, if you let me stay, I promise to take it easy on you for the rest of the trip. And I'll get the others to do the same. Really? You want more? Where did this boldness come from anyway? Yeah, okay. Whatever. I mean, I guess you'd be doing me a huge favor and... Well, wouldn't I be doing you one if I got everyone to make your life a little easier this weekend? <laughs> you are pushing your luck, don't you think? I said I'd try to make your life easier, not that I want to be besties. That's a little rich... Okay, you're right. That was a terrible start to being nicer. Let me try again. <clears throat> I'd be really grateful if you gave me a place to sleep. I acknowledge that asking you for help is deeply humbling, and I apologize for... <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm definitely laying it on a little thick. Wait, really? Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. Honestly, your poker face is pretty good, which is surprising. But if that didn't work, I was preparing to sleep outside. I mean, I guess I could have gone back to the cars, but there's no way I'm doing that alone in the dark. Yeah, for real. I don't know what's out there, but that is absolutely not the way I want to make the news. <laughs> now scoot over, let me in. Hey, this tent's pretty nice. There's more room than I thought. Is it cool if I just drop my stuff here? Yeah, I do suppose it could be worse, you're right. We could be stuck in one of those car top tents or, I don't know, roughing it under the stars or something. The stars part isn't so bad, true. But honestly, I meant it when I said I hate camping. I don't even know why I came. <laughs> no, it wasn't the prospect of tormenting you. I don't need a special occasion to do that. And honestly, I didn't even know you were coming. Kind of wish I had, though. Maybe then I would have stayed home. Okay, okay, I know I said I'd play nice. I'm sorry, let me start again. This doesn't suck. It's cool of you. Very generous. And since you're being so generous tonight, I'm sure it won't be a problem that I don't have a sleeping bag, right? No, no, I am not joking. I actually came camping without a sleeping bag because I was assured I just needed to bring myself, my food, and my clothes that my friends took care of the rest. Joke's on me, huh? Or on you, I guess, since you're stuck in here with me now. Oh, come on, don't be like that. It's supposed to be so cold tonight, and... 
No, funny man, I do not mean cold like me. You think you're so clever, don't you? But how's it going to look if you walk out and have to tell everyone on this trip I got hyperthermia and froze to death in your tent because you couldn't share? What is that look on your face? Hyperthermia, hypothermia, whatever. You know what I meant, the one that happens when you're too cold. Come on, it won't be so bad, it really won't. Ugh, fine, I'll just unpack all my clothes and make myself a little nest. That'll be fine. If I can just get a nice area of clothes here and then, yeah? You can't live with my demise on your conscience, hmm? Good, whatever works for me. Then just, okay. I'm going to get changed for bed while you get yourself situated and then just don't look, okay? I mean, yeah, I want to go to bed now. What else did you think we were going to do? Stay up sharing snacks and campfire stories? I said I'd be nice, not that I had a personality transplant. Now, don't look. You know, I didn't think this trip would be quite this bad, but between this sleeping bag thing and the rain and... Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, nothing. It'll be fine. I just forgot something I thought I grabbed, but it's not a big deal. Really, almost done. Just a sec. Okay, ready. I'll, uh, just climb in and turn the other way while you... Yeah, get ready. Mmm, this sleeping bag is so soft, and mm, maybe this won't be so bad after all. Hmm? Oh, already? Okay, yeah. Get in then. Do our sleeping bag after all. There we go. See? It's not so bad like this. I told you it would be okay. And look, already warming up nicely. Mm, I think this is the first time I've felt my toes all day. Well, thanks for saving me. I really appreciate it. Ugh. I honestly cannot believe I'm even in this position right now. You know, I helped fund this trip, which is why they offered to cover me for the stuff I needed. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have taken them at their word. Learned that lesson the hard way, thank you very much. It's so humiliating to be left out and have to scramble like this, honestly. And I thought they were my friends. <sighs> have you ever had anything like that happen to you? Just left out and embarrassed for no reason? Wait, that's weird and way too personal. Just forget I asked. No, I mean, I, I didn't mean to make you feel weird. That's why you're lying like that, isn't it? How <laughs> you just moved and turned your whole body into a human banana, literally arching away from me and my... Yeah, you definitely are. You're like angled all the way away from me. So if I didn't make you uncomfortable, what are you even doing? That can't be comfortable. You're being so weird. Like, just lie normally like a normal person. Honestly, this is why you make it so easy. You're such an easy target. You just... I mean, if you're not offended or... Oh my God, wait. No way. Are you excited by this? Do you like... Are you trying to hide that you actually like this situation we're in? <laughs> you are. You're so into this, aren't you? And you're trying to hide the evidence, hoping I won't notice. Isn't that a little hard to do in such close proximity? I will absolutely not shut up. This is wild. I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I don't know. This is so weird. I don't even know if it's my taunting or my confession that gets you going, but either way, oh my God, this is... I know you let me in, but I just... Come on, admit it. I want to hear you say it. You like this, don't you? This whatever it is that we do, this thing between us, you're so into it. Don't lie. Is that your excuse? That it's a natural reaction and you can't control it? <laughs> Last time I checked, you are well past the age where it happens like this just from proximity. 
Relax, I'm not doing anything weird. Nothing weirder than you are, at least. Just felt strange to be talking to you with my back to you, so I wanted to... Yeah, that's better. I can see you now. So what gives? I know you've never thought about me before like this. So why now? Why tonight? Was it really just the proximity of a living, breathing human woman? I guess that's rare for you, hmm? Oh, relax. I was only joking. Besides, getting excited in a shared sleeping bag is honestly not that strange. It happens. I mean, I think. I've never been in a sleeping bag with somebody before. I guess I was just surprised. You know? Yeah, surprised. I didn't think you really registered me as well as someone to think about that way. Especially not with the way I am with you. Our history. I know I can be, you know. I just get caught up in things and speak without thinking. Look, it's honestly fine. It's not even the worst surprise of the night, not by a long shot. In fact, as far as this night's going, I'd say it's practically a compliment. So no, don't worry. I'm not going to say anything, and I won't mock you for this. For a lot of things, but not for this. So just chill, okay? No, not bad. Just, like, really surprising. But since I can basically feel the heat of embarrassment radiating off you in such close quarters, I don't know. I just don't want you to feel bad about this, okay? Yeah, I'm sure. Not about this. It's not something to be embarrassed about. I mean, it's honestly kind of impressive. I mean, I can feel it pressed right up against me and... Yeah, it definitely feels like a compliment, and I don't hate it. Would it be weird if I said I liked it more than a little? Good, glad it's not weird. Maybe this won't be either. <laughs> I was just wondering, can I... Would you like it if I helped you out? No, I... That's exactly what I mean. I want to touch you. Is that okay? Can I touch you? Yeah? Are you sure? Because I... I kind of really want to. I don't know why. Really, I know we can't tell anyone this stays between us, but yeah. I want to. If you do. Good, okay. Let me just move a little closer. How's this? Does that feel good? I can stop if you want. Good. I'm glad you... You want this. I do too. I don't want to stop. In fact, I'm really curious how it will feel if we keep going. It'll be our little secret, okay? Okay. 